Christopher Falls NBA career has finally hit rock bottom. Now nah, I'm just playing. I just wanted to see how y'all react and I want to get these clicks on these videos to go up. So that's why I started the video. I started the video as so y'all can see the video. But for real, in the comments, let me know how y'all feel about Chris Paul's career after today's performance. And yeah, I want to see what people think, how people think. And yeah, personally to me, I'm not really about talking about people's legacy like that. I know I'm supposed to be coming on here talking about NBA, giving my opinions about the NBA player's legacy. But I'm not the one to really judge a man's whole legacy based off of one thing in any scenario. Yes, it's not great for his legacy, sure, but it happened, right? And he, at the end of the day, he's still one of the best point guards ever played the game. And yeah, and that's how I go into thinking about NBA basketball. And let me know in the comments how y'all think about his career, like I said. But let's get into these game sevens, man. Game seven? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. It's been a while. How have y'all been? I ain't been on here in a minute. I hope everything has been good with you and yours. I hope everyone's been blessed. I've been okay. <laughs> I've been okay. Now I understand I haven't, I, I know I ain't done these in a while. I understand it's hard to do these when you're not making money off of these, but you feel me? I came on here because it's simple two games and it were game seven. I feel like I had to do that. Plus, like I said in the beginning, I'm trying to get these clicks up. So I, I'm finna put a false title on how I feel and see how I do. So it's really just a test video, but might as well get some use out of it and talk what happened today two game sevens today both terrible games because they weren't no close there were no close down to the wire game winner potential shots or anything it was just two i want to say two blowout games where you know the reigning final appearance teams did not show up at all you know I mean, starting with the first game, Giannis did his thing, but after Giannis, you might as well have been a one-off. Honestly, there was just no one that really helped him anywhere. You're talking about his shooters, his other, the upper enchilada of the role players, the Drew Holidays, the Bob Portis. Only one I probably showed was Brooke Lopez, and like everyone else is pretty much, eh. and then they let they let they let. Grant Williams dropped 20 plus today and you're just not going to win if you let that happen. Shout out to Grant Williams. Shout out to the Celtics. Super happy that they made. I said on Twitter that it feels good seeing them in the finals, not the finals, the Western Conference getting this far into the season after the way they started, you know, they started off so poor. Then they flipped the switch and like, I forget when it was like, I think it was in January. They flipped the switch and they just, they just been one of the best teams in this, in the NBA, this whole since then and seeing them get here past the reigning champs is pretty cool excited to see that matchup between them and the heat i think it's gonna be a good time now for the bucks like i said they underachieve of course this season but i'm not gonna hold this against anybody right where they were missing chris middleton people who on twitter be like now don't bring up injuries now but it's like you gotta bring up injuries a little bit when you talk about certain things I'm gonna bring up injuries for them, you know. It's unfortunate they they couldn't get Chris Middleton for pretty much this entire playoff run. It felt like, but they did okay. Um, what they do next year to be better, honestly, don't know. Uh, this is one team that had a perfect system around their best player. Maybe a new coach. Doubt it though, you know. But you never know. Moving on to game two. This video is not gonna be long at all, guys. <laughs> If I can, you can make it long if you subscribe to the channel and leave a like, man. We trying to do something great, and we cannot do that without your help. Ooh, oh, yes, sir. But for real, subscribe to the channel, man. We trying to build something great for real. Moving on to game two: Suns versus Dallas, Suns versus Mavericks. And I definitely, let's just say, I didn't watch the first half. I was busy doing something, and I turned it on like during the halftime. And I didn't see the score at all. They weren't showing it on the on the TNT thing. I, I was like, they didn't show it. But when on Twitter, I'm like, they said 40-point game, 30-point lead. I was like, nah, they joking. They joking a 30-point lead. They only had 27 at the half. I was like, nah, the Suns are wilding. Then they told me that Devin Booker and Chris Paul only combined for three points. I was like, nigga, are you serious? In the game seven, Devin Booker had two points. Are you serious, bro? Chris Paul had one? That sucked so bad to like see. 
Because I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be the one. Like, that game, the first game, I'm like, eh. That game was, eh. This game, this is going to be the one. Because, like, this, these teams been going back and forth in blowout games. And, you know, the Mavericks got the last blowout game, winning by 46 points. And that's crazy. Shout out to freaking Luka. Conscious the goat, that motherfucking shout out to Spencer Dinwiddie, Jalen Brunson, Reggie Bullock, Dory Finney Smith, um, 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 Frank Nilakina, Jalen, did I say Jalen Brunson? Jalen Brunson, um, Maxi Kleber, Dwight Powell. Shout out to all them motherfuckers over there, bro, because they was hooping the even they was hooping that whole third quarter still, and they was just they just they just put their foot their foot. On that, on them niggas necks and just shook on that shit, just shook they shit. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, that's embarrassing for the Suns. Uh, as a lot of the NBA fan fan bases in the league, they wanted the Suns to lose, so they're happy, excited on social media. I'm more just like happy for the Mavericks, less hating towards the Suns. I can really give a fuck. But shout out to the Mavericks, man. I really wanted them to win. I picked the Suns. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna come on here and say I picked the Suns in in a group chat on and anything. I picked the Suns. I'm like this is Suns, right? Best in the league, best record. I I respected what they done throughout the season. I was like I'm gonna go with the Suns. But in the back of my mind, I was like nah nah nah. I want the Mavericks to win. No cap, because I just want to see Luca get to that next step. You know, after his first season, get it past the first round, might as well get to the Easter Conference. Hell, might have, might as well even get to the finals. And this first thing Book did in his first time, get into the playoffs. Why can't Luca? But they do have these people they have to go against next, and that team is a little different in how they run their offense, but. I think that's going to be a very good series. The Swords, the Suns versus the Warriors. A lot of people didn't want that. I think it's going to be good. I think Luka is going to work them. But I also think the Warriors are going to work them as well. So that's going to be an exciting series to see. Like I said, shout out to the Mavericks, man. They ain't been here in a while. They, I think they said this is their first time getting here since 20, 2012. First time getting to the Western Conference Finals since 2012. So it's been 10 years since they've been here. You know, shout out to Lucas, shout out to the boys, and shout out to me for coming on here. Man, I had a headache, but I was like, man, I'm gonna try to click clickbait this, get this out early, see if I get some clicks on the channel, get people to subscribe to the channel, because we really building something great over here. Watch out for us in the summer. We going up on content, because we gonna be dropping bangers, I promise. Yeah, I'm gonna get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoy what I had to say. Like I said in the beginning, leave a comment on how you guys think Chris Paul career is now if it took a hit if it didn't honestly i'm interested to hear what people think about his career now after this uh second round loss and this second round performance i mean just a terrible performance from for chris paul sanders just a terrible performance from game three to seven you know just terrible just terrible bro oh my goodness oh my good and then terrible performance from devin booker terrible performance from everybody really they just didn't lock in i don't know what happened but yeah, man. home game too they lost on the home game oh my gosh subscribe to the channel like because you're trying to build something great it helps build the channel with the likes like the motherfucker it don't cost nothing like the bitch um and yeah i'm out peace